Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to set up a desktop computer easily. This will be a full tutorial with some computer basics, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have an older desktop computer that I basically no longer use. I have a monitor, I have a keyboard over here, I have a mouse, and I have a whole bunch of other cords and accessories. So I'm gonna show you the basics of setting up your desktop computer. Now the first thing that you will need to do is to provide power to your desktop computer and monitor, okay? And I always do that together just because it's really easy because you're already sort of working on the power cables. So it's just easy to do that. So essentially for your desktop computer, you're likely gonna find um, something that looks like that. And that is gonna be your power line for your desktop computer. So one end is gonna plug into that right there. It only goes in, in one direction, just like that. And then the other end of this cable is gonna have a power cord. You're gonna go plug that into your wall outlet, okay? I'm gonna place it to the side over here. I'm not gonna actually be plugging this stuff in, but um, you would go and you would plug the other end into your wall outlet, okay? That's the first thing. So you now have power to your desktop computer. There might be a power switch on the back as well that you might have to turn on, okay? Now for your monitor, you might have the same type of port for power, or you might have a different one. Like on mine, I actually have that little circle right there. And what it does is it has um, sort of like a transformer. And then we have the exact same cord style that I just used in the computer that plugs into the transformer type of uh, like a power brick over here. So essentially I'm gonna go to the side here because I'm trying to keep the camera focused on everything. Um, I'm gonna plug this into the monitor over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Just give me one moment. There we go. And then, like I said, that then leads to this, which has this plug in it. And on the other end of that is this right here. So we'd go ahead and we'd plug this in to a wall outlet. And now we have power at both our monitor and our desktop computer. So now we have to start making connections um, between them and just you know connecting the peripherals and accessories to the actual computer. So essentially, the first thing that you want to do is connect your monitor to your desktop computer. Now, on a lot of modern monitors, you're going to use an HDMI cable. This is a somewhat older monitor. So what I'm going to do in this case is I have this connector right here. This is just like a standard VGA cable when you see this blue connector. I have this attachment here, which converts it to a different type because on my older desktop computer, that's the type that's used right there. So just give me a moment. I'm just going to go ahead and make my way here. I'm going to plug one end of this cable to the display output of the, de of the desktop computer and there actually is an HDMI port over there. I just noticed that now. I never noticed that before and I've, I used to use this computer for many, many years. So essentially, I'm going to plug this cable in here and you're going to turn these to tighten them up. There's these little sort of nubs that you're going to turn at the end here. And then the other end of that cable is going to plug into the monitor. So essentially, and it only goes in in one direction. Essentially, at the end of the day, you're basically um, going to be plugging in one cable end to your desktop computer and the other cable end to the monitor, okay? So we now have a cable connecting the desktop computer to the monitor, this cable right here. So now the display of the desktop computer will go to the associated monitor. Now you basically have power to your desktop computer, power to your monitor, and you now can see things on your monitor from your desktop computer, okay? Once you've done that, it's just a matter of connecting whatever accessories you want to connect. So like I said before, I have this mouse and keyboard. Now, most modern mice and keyboards will just connect via USB. This is actually a wireless set. So both of these, the keyboard and the mouse, get connected via this USB little dongle over here. And what I'm gonna do, let's just angle this down a little bit. And for the most part, you can choose any USB port on your desktop computer for your, or USB ports on your desktop computer for your uh, mouse and keyboard. So I'm just gonna go and plug this into um, one over here. Um, now, USB ports only go in in one direction, so make sure it's plugged in properly, make sure it's nice and fully plugged in. If you have a wired mouse and a wired keyboard, then you're gonna have to plug both of them in individually. Um, but if you have a wireless one like this and it's a set together, then most likely you're gonna have one dongle for both of them. There is an older style of mouse connector and keyboard connector. It's like a circular style with pins. Those are generally not no longer used, but you know, once you've done that, um, your mouse and your keyboard will be connected. You might have to install some drivers for them to work properly, but they will be connected, okay? The next thing is your internet connection. Now, essentially, you're likely gonna have wireless internet, but if you don't, then you're gonna use an ethernet cable like this to get a wired internet connection. And you can see right here, it would plug into the ethernet port 
um, on the desktop computer. So I'm gonna plug this in over here to the ethernet port, just like that, it clicks in place. And the other end would plug into your modem or your router. So we're gonna pretend that we plug that into our modem or router. If you have Wi-Fi or wireless internet, then you don't have to worry about that. The next thing you might wanna plug in is a printer. Now this is a, uh, printers can have all sorts of different types of cables. This is just a USB cable. It has different types of USB connections on either end. This is like a standard cable that you would use for a printer. Now your printer might be wireless and if it's a wireless printer, then you don't have to worry about this. Just connect it wirelessly. But if you have a wired printer, then connect the USB end, one of them to the computer. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna connect this end over here to the computer. Let's make sure it's the right direction. Um, there we go. And the other end is going to get plugged into the printer. So we're going to pretend that we're plugging this into the printer. Once again, if you are using a wireless printer, you don't have to worry about this. Lastly, um, you're going to want to plug in potentially a speaker system. Um, and your speaker system is going to get plugged in over here to this green port over here. Um, so I would plug in my speaker system to this green port over here very simply. Um, and make sure your speaker system is, you know, powered properly. But on this PC, there's also an additional green port on the top there. So I could plug it into that one as well. They're both connected. So I could choose either one. And there's also like, you might have USB ports on the top there as well. You might have a microphone port over there as well, um, which is a different color. It all depends on the computer, but for a general speaker system, you're gonna plug it into that little green. It looks like a headphone jack. It's a three and a half millimeter um, headphone jack, but it is used for the speaker system. And that's it. You know, if you have any other accessories, like an external hard drive you can plug it in you most likely to one of the usb ports and you're probably gonna have a convenient one like on the top or on the front as well that you can use now, you know after that it's just kind of any other accessories that you have you can plug them in and that's it that is essentially how to set up a desktop computer a full tutorial on computer basics if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching